Hello, I'm Dennis Schwartz, Design Director for Hunt Showdown. Today we are going to talk about more gameplay changes and improvements for our upcoming August launch. We have upgraded our previous challenge system to provide players with a smoother and more rewarding experience. Firstly, challenges are now released weekly in the form of sets. The order in which sets are released and their contents are the same for all players. Lastly, progress for all types of challenges is now displayed during play, thus removing the guesswork previously required to figure out if you had finished certain challenges before extracting them. Traps have seen several improvements to make placing them more reliable. Players can now experiment placing them at angles and try out new spots. Be aware though that doors will now always trigger wire traps placed in front. Every resupply in the game is no longer restricted to just two interactions. Saddlebags, toolboxes and ammo boxes small and big found in the world will always offer you something to replenish. Medical supplies will always allow a player to heal once. We also changed hunter corpses so they can always be looted unless burned. Vulture will now give you some hunt dollars in addition to other loot gained for two upgrade points. We've taken a closer look at iron sights and standardized the thickness of front sights across many weapons to make them feel more consistent and easier to use at distance. Silenced weapons have received some additional love by cutting off parts of the sights to make them easier to aim with. In an earlier video, we touched upon changes to Hunt's gunplay formula by introducing bullet drop and always lethal headshots. We are happy to announce that with these changes we are also adding true speed of sound and a gunshot ecosystem for a more authentic depiction of gunfire and explosions over longer distances. A lot of effort for our August launch went into making existing systems more robust and improving upon or placing them when needed. Fall damage has been refactored heavily and now works more consistently even when falling down slopes and weird structures. We are now applying damage more reliably instead of sometimes receiving multiple damage events in short succession. This results in overall smoother traversal through vertical spaces, something our new map benefits from quite a bit. We will be back soon with more topics around our big August launch. Follow our social channels for new videos and updates. See you soon.